Hi guys. Just got home. It's literally just gone nine o'clock at night. Mum's just dropped me off. Yeah, we've had a bit of a productive day, I suppose. I had a bit of a tidy up in my uh, my part of the workshop and my little broom cupboard, as I call it. Uh, mostly so we could put all the stuff for the car boot in the um, in my area, out of the way. Because uh, we can't leave that in the car, because the more weight in a car, the more petrol you, you, you use. So That's all done. We cleaned the car out as well, inside and out. I've got to fix that on the computer. I don't know, something, something to do with AVG. Uh, da, 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 the program can't start because MFC 110U.dll is missing from your computer. Try installing the program to fix the problem. AVGUI.exe is just a mirror. Mm. I've done that ever since I uninstalled that um, AVG PC tune-up trial version. Anyway, that's not really an issue. Um, what was I talking about before that distracted me? Oh yeah, cleaning the car. Yeah, we <laughs> cleaned all that, all the car out inside now. I checked the coolant. That's at a stable level now. Need to topping up a little bit, but because it did. Um, when I first checked it, when Mum got the car, it was the header tank was empty. And that shouldn't have been empty. There's just nothing in it. So I filled it up with some liquid up to the minimum or the max mark and then a couple of days later that was near enough empty again so I poured in some coolant that I had here and uh, that's um, stayed at the same level now so I'm guessing that was probably filling up the rest of the system someone had obviously let that uh, get low and not bother checking it oil's fine it's black but it looks like it's just from, you know, the usual engine filth. Because the oil isn't thick and gloopy and it doesn't look old. It just looks a bit black. So I'd say that's fine. At least for the time being. Uh, yeah, it's a good little old 4 before. If I'm honest, I do love the thing. Um... Apart from that, I didn't really do a lot over at Mum's. Apart from basically you hung out and had a nice roast dinner with a nice roast pork, which we do most Sundays. Uh, so yeah. You know, it, I just went silent because I was looking at the timer on this and I've just realised how the timer works. <laughs> it's got the red digits which are indicating um, to me how long I've been recording for and then it's got some white digits that don't do anything and I'm guessing the white digits indicates how much time I've got left from the moment I turn the camera on. So I've got about 30 minutes, so I don't intend to go on for that long, but uh, I always say that and end up rambling about stuff. Uh, so, let's get everything up and running on the computer. Get Yahoo signed in, get Skype signed in, get Firefox up. Won't be going over to Mum's tomorrow, which will give me a chance to have a whip round and bit of a tidy up up here, got that green bag to go down to the rubbish coat to hang up, just a general tidy up I'll put those scales underneath this coffee table uh, that's what I did after I finished with the vlog last night I uh, built up that Lego house so that was a good bargain, 20 quid and I've got those instructions and vintage catalogues and I got the house, the boat, the yellow mail van down there 
in the fire truck, and this is all that's left in the tub. Still quite a lot of bricks and whatnot, and all for 20 quid. Mum still thinks that was a lot, but like I said, she, or like I've said before, she, she's uh, not familiar with the value of Lego, especially these days. Because um, I know what I've got there is worth a lot more than what I paid for it. So, it's a definite bargain for my collection. But I haven't found anywhere to put it yet. <laughs> that shelf is all full. Those shelves are full. <laughs> I'll think of somewhere. Oh, I did think of something I could do with these. Because I thought, when I get my larger tables in here, as I've mentioned this on the Lego uh, channel, I want to get some proper tables in here, higher than this and at least go from the end of the um, bookcase because that's what they technically are meant to be bookcases not being used for books though anyway I want to go from there to I don't know possibly round about the um, end of this TV cabinet but I'm still toying with the idea of getting rid of this because I don't use it uh, could even, well, if I could get the PS1 to work on that, and the Mega Drive actually, I would put that TV on there. And then just take, turn all this into um, tables, and then perhaps half the tables, and I could use one half for the Lego and the other half for another hobby, like on computers or something. Then perhaps move that coffee table over there. I don't know. I'm still rolling ideas around in my head. Anyway, I did think that if I lengthen these tables like I want to, as I just explained, that one light isn't going to be enough. But I do have plenty of these, so I could, in fact put another two or, or however many I wanted up really or I could use the fluorescent light I've got in the cupboard mm, a couple of bits of wood out like that for a bracket and mm, screw the fluorescent light up there's a, a multitude of options I could have but I can't remember the last time I turned that on in fact the last time I turned that on was uh, when my brother stayed here for a few days after he had a fallen out with his girlfriend. Um, obviously that's personal, so I won't go into details about the whys and what happened. But, uh, anyway, I, don't even, I could put the DVDs in the bedroom, cause, or even put this whole TV cabinet in the bedroom, because I watched the TV in there more than I'll watch this one. This is just an ornament up the corner, really. So, yeah, that's one option I can do, which I'll probably end up doing. Now that my mattress is actually sitting higher on the bed. Uh, I think that TV in there would be a bit overkill, though. So, I don't know what I'd do with that. Um, I don't know. There's lots of options. Or better yet, get rid of this cabinet and bring that TV cabinet over here. Because I can soon run extended cables around the room. Nemo's crazy me because he wants uh, food. Oh, camera's in the bin. <laughs> because Twat here went and broke it. Well, the screen is still on the floor somewhere. What I did, I broke the screen, because it had one of those flip screens. Well, what I didn't realise is the screen doesn't go around in a 360 degree circle, does it? And I broke the screen cable, so killed the screen, so, yeah. That was the end of that camera, so I'm glad I only paid three quid for it. <laughs> so, I will remember that for the next camera I do obtain. Not to turn the camera, or turn, turn the camera turn the flip screen around in a 360.
I did wonder why that was a bit tough to spin it all the way around. Duh. Never mind. I'm not familiar with cameras. I mean, the, this camera is really the only one I've ever used. Apart from how to play with old VHS cameras and whatnot. I could get like a Digi8 camera and connect it to that. Because that's got all the ports and everything and the software on it to uh, take the video footage from the um, a Digi8 camera. I, believe, I don't know, I haven't got a clue what a Digi8 is, but, uh, you know, I'm not familiar with cameras, but I believe it's sort of like a type of VHS camera. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I'll look into it and I'll find something better than this. Left over from breakfast this morning. <laughs> um... As I said in yesterday's vlog, my KVM switch should arrive either tomorrow, which is Monday the... I've forgotten now. I've lost track of the dates. Is it 19th? Or is it the 18th? Or is it the 20th? What's today's date? 17th, so it'll be the 18th tomorrow. Uh, or Tuesday the 19th, according to the estimated delivery on eBay. But that is just an estimated delivery, so... Well, actually, the estimated delivery on eBay says either Tuesday the 19th or Wednesday the 20th. But I know that's not really reliable on eBay, because I've had things arrive earlier. just depends when the sellers posted them out. I mean, some sellers are like me and really hang about person parcels at times. I don't always... Mm because things hadn't gone to plan last week, so I had to postpone it, but uh, it will get posted. Uh, we're still making plans at the car boot sale next week, or for the car boot sales next week. Uh, it'll be on at Stalham Friday, Alsham Saturday, then again Stalham Sunday, and because it's Bank Holiday Monday, Stalin also holds one on a Bank Holiday Monday. But, as there was only two rows at last Friday's car boot at Stalin, me and Mum probably won't uh, go to that one, because really most of the money we made came from the dealers that were walking around before the car boot opened. Oh, and they can be annoying. They're like a plague of locusts. As soon as you've got your back doors open on your car, they're there looking in, and while you're trying to unpack and set up, they're looking through all your boxes and whatnot to see what you've got. Oof, that's annoying. So we've decided we're not going to unpack the car until 10.30, half an hour before the car boot opens to the public. The reason being, the um, organiser's rules is that at 10.30, all stall holders must remain at their stall Unless they need to go for a wee or they're going to get a cup of coffee from one of the um, refreshment stalls or, you know, something, something like that. A legitimate reason that isn't going around the stalls buying bits and bobs. Because, like I said, there's a lot of dealers that go to these that frequent them a lot. And if they haven't seen you there before, they'll come around your stall like a plague of locusts. See what they can get off you at stupidly cheap prices. <laughs> and uh, when you go for a walk around the car boot, you'll find the items you just sold on their stall. <laughs> but as I said, I don't mind the ones that are actually honest and you know that they're dealers. But like Mum had that woman that bought the handbag off her, she was acting like, this woman was acting like, you know, she wanted it for herself and then went and put it on her stall. Well, a lot of the other dealers I come across don't act like that, you know. They will say, oh, well, that's too much for me, because they are a dealer. Well, actually, a lot of them did actually say, well, it's too much for me, but someone else later later on in the day would pay that price. You know, basically saying, it's worth what you're asking, but I can't pay that price. That's what they're pretty much saying. <laughs> and I don't mind that, because at least, uh, well, like I said in the last vlog, they're being honest, you know. I'm a dealer, I'm only here to 
buy your stuff to sell on. <laughs> so, on that woman though, uh, no, be honest. If you want to put it on your stall, then by all means, you know, you've bought it from us, you do what you like with it. But yeah, for that reason, I just felt intimidated when you've got like four or five people all around your stall and you haven't even got half the stuff off your car yet. So, I think what we'll do, we'll just set the table up and we'll wait. Because that's what a lot of these other regulars do. They won't unload the car straight away, they'll just pull up, perhaps put the tables up and then walk around the car boot site until it's until the um, organiser comes around with his megaphone and gets you all to go back to your stall unless you need to use the toilets or whatever. They're only portaloo toilets, you know, there's nothing special. Although usually they are clean. Well, they're clean and tidy until a car boot opens and you get your customers. And instead of putting, the, like, the hand towels from drying their hands down the toilet where they're supposed to go, they just throw them up in the side, up in the corner. It's just, ugh. I don't know why people have got to do that. But, uh, anyway, speaking of toilet, I must have picked the camera up because I need to go, so I shall be back in a few. I'm back. Well, as you can see, I'm still in the bathroom, still on my toilet. Thought I'd turn the camera on while I'm taking a dump. Ah, if you believe that, you'd believe anything. Look, I'm fully clothed, I'm not taking a dump at all. <laughs> I bet there would be some people that were first to see that bit and think I was. Right. We've got shit stored in the bath or crap everywhere. Sink that needs to clean. That will get cleaned. Uh, but as you probably know by now, my flat is usually full of clutter and crap anyway. But it does get cleared up now and again. When I get fed up stepping over everything. Uh, which actually brings me to what I was thinking about on the uh, toilet. I don't know, it's like your thinking throne, isn't it? You go to the toilet and you always think of something. Um, but I was just thinking about how people live. Because I was looking at the sink and looking at how dirty it was and all the crap in the bathroom and all the junk around here, like the empty Coke bottles. I can't remember if my smoke bin's got to go down. Yeah, it has. Not that you can see it, because it's pitch black. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, it's getting full. Well, I've had such a busy weekend, though. I haven't had a chance to do half the stuff I wanted to do. Uh, let me just put a bit of food down for my little boy. I'll pop you on there, and if I go quiet, it's probably because I've gone away from the camera too far. Put a bin bag in the bin. <coughs> Still haven't done that. And now I can't find the spoon I use for the cat food. I don't use the spoons I use Freety with when I'm um, serving up this cat food. I prefer to keep spoons separately. I've got these blue handled spoons that I use for dishing up little man's food. <laughs> Now I've got to find out, I've still got some in the tin in the fridge. Yeah, I've still got some in the tin in the fridge. Uh, this, is, this is how forgetful I am, look. I forgot I've still got a tin of food in the fridge. Oh well, I can use that up in the morning, that's not an issue. But that's how forgetful I can be. Long term memory, my long term memory, memory, memory? What's memory? My long term memory is pretty good. Short term memory, crap. Uh, which apparently is a trait of having Asperger's. Uh, you know, it, I may have all this junk kicking about, but at least I don't have like rotting and mouldy leftover food kicking about. Well, I mean, I've got that plate of leftovers from yesterday lunchtime, but I've got to put a bin in the, or a bin bag in the bin and I just haven't had a chance to do that yet. 
you have been busy all day, and what you want to do is sort of come home and chill. And where's there a circle on the bed? Yeah, it does show up on the camera, there's a circle on the bed. Right. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, changing the flat around. Hmm. I don't know, I think that um, TV cabinet might be a bit big to go in there, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with the layout of the bedroom, so I don't want to move the bed. Uh, I don't know, I'll think of something. Shut the wardrobe door. I'm more concerned about getting some better tables in the uh, lounge. I'm not really fussed what they are as long as they do the job. Mm. My stepdad's still got some sheets of ply, so I could build something. And I'll get some 2 by 2 or something to make some legs up and a frame up with, and perhaps the length of the uh, gap in here, and screw some ply to the top. So I'm not going to be putting much weight on it, so it ain't got to be very thick. Because most of these drawers, well all these small ones would be stacked to the back of the table like they are now. But these ones will prob prob probably be stacked underneath the table. So I probably want the table at least the height of this stack. Uh, might want a computer chair that can go up quite high or something, so if I did want to sit down I could. Otherwise that would mean standing up. Oh my god, I don't mind standing up. Uh, well, I've also decided I've got two identical road lamps up that far end. I'm going to take one to the car boot. Never know. I've seen stranger stuff for sale on these car boots, so, you know, it, it, you get random people going around with these car boots, you know, you don't know what they're after. If they're even going to a car boot to look for something in specific, you know, some people may just go to see what's there and see what catches their eye, so... Don't have. I've got loads of those maxi lights there. Down the shed that I could take and sell, but don't know. I might take one, and if I can shift one, easy enough. I mean, I'd only ask a couple of quid for it because you can get them. Well, you can still buy them today, the LED versions, and you can uh, still get them quite easily on eBay. So I wouldn't ask a lot for them because they're not worth it. Not all of these odd ones and old ones up this end, you know. If I ever sold those, I'd ask a higher price for because they are rare. Rare, no longer in production. Yeah, I've only got one duplicate lamp up there now, so that might as well go. Well, I'll take, I'll take that and I'll take a maxi light, you know, and I can try them. If they sell, they sell. If they don't, they don't. I'll just bring them home again. But, uh, going back to the car I've just got to keep an eye on the time. Because, uh, I don't actually have a lot, look, actually have long left on the camera at all. I've got just over ten minutes. Of, just under ten minutes, I mean. Uh... Yeah, what me and Mum are going to do, I thought about, you know, filling a box full of uh, random stuff and putting a price on it for like 50p or something. You know, 50p each. Not the whole box, obviously. Otherwise you might as well give them away. <laughs> you know, just to create something a bit more... Create something a bit more, I mean, create a bit more variety on our stall. As we might end up, might Jesus, I've got a speech impediment tonight. Might end up 
Ooh, squeaky chair. Um, might end up um, doing these car boots at least once a week. Obviously, I prefer to go as a bar. <laughs> but selling is also good. I mean, I've en I enjoyed the last couple of days. It was different. It got me out of the house. And you do see some characters when you go to these car boots. Uh, the ones we go to, you do get a lot of Polish there. Well, I think they're Polish. They could be Romanian, I'm not sure. No, I've got nothing against them, but um, I'm just saying, you know, we get a lot there in this area. Uh, I never seem to buy anything, though. Or at least the, my, the uh, men don't. I don't know why. But, uh, oh well, perhaps I just go for something to do. <laughs> I don't blame them. Um, well, I suppose I could talk about my, uh, stance on immigration. I know people, there's a lot of people out there that think immigration should, should stop and, you know, we should have tougher border control, so to speak, which I do agree with. But, I'm not blaming any foreigners that want to come over to this country and, well, take advantage of our system, because... If our government wants to make our system that easy for people to move to this country and take advantage of it, then that's the fault of our government and not the um, foreigners that come over. That's the way I see it. <coughs> because I'm sure if the tables were turned and this country was rough and we were all moving away, we'd do the same thing. We'd move to the to a country where that was easier to move to, wouldn't we? But, uh, you know why I see it, so long as Im the um, immigrants are all legal, with all their paperwork, you know, they've got their visas, their work visas, you know, and they earn their living here. Even, you know, if it's whatever it is, running a corner shop or running a business or whatever, then I don't have a problem with it. It's the ones that come over illegally and then somehow manage to claim our benefits and claim our, well, you know, claim out whatever they can and, or even work over here. Then they're the ones I think we should uh, crack down on and they should be deported until they can come back legitimately. That's just my stance and something a bit random I threw in here just to kill the last few minutes. Um, bloody hell, and the batteries just start to go already. Sometimes they last and sometimes they don't. I'm trying to decide if I fancy a piece of cheesecake or not. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, when I was at Mum's, I wanted a piece of the cheesecake I've got in the fridge, but now I'm home, I'm not sure I do. <laughs> I might get, well, I eat it straight from the box anyway, you know, I don't see the point in uh, cutting a slice and serving it. Because uh, one, it dies up the plate, and two, I'm the only one that eats it anyway, because I'm the only one here, so I don't need to do it for hygiene reasons for anyone else, do I? So I just take a few spoonfuls from the... Um, try itself and then put the cheesecake back in the fridge. Yeah, I've probably got quite a few weird eating habits. Well, no, actually not. Probably, I know I do. He's purring away. Weirdest cat ever. I wind him up to no end, and I admit that I do wind him up, and I do, you know, like, play with him and tease him and get him to bite and scratch me. I mean, look, <laughs> more wounds, technically, where well, I've pushed the, pushed the teasing too far. No, I don't give him lug eight for it, because it is my own fault, because I pushed too far. Don't I? But yeah, he still comes to me, he still loves me. Loves me even more when I feed him. <laughs> oh, I've got static shock off him. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to filling the card up now, so I think I'll end the video and I'll get this one downloaded to the PC as well as the um, 
Lego video I made this morning before I went out and uh, probably shoot the Lego one up to YouTube tonight and I'll get one up on the main channel tonight as well I do want to aim for at least one video a day on the main channel obviously I can't do that with the Lego channel um, that'll be probably once every now and again because Lego is just a hobby, you know. Whereas the car booting and the fixing up of bikes and selling them is what I do to get the extra pocket money to, well, buy the Lego. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, if you don't actually get off your ass and do something, then uh, you're not going to get the money you want. You know, money's not just going to land in your lap. Anyway, if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. It helps either way, and it's entirely your choice. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, until the next video, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.